Chief Bevin, so good to have you with us today. I know you guys, the sun hasn't even come up yet. You guys have a lot of work ahead of you. So tell us what's top on your list. We've already had a couple crews out there before daylight hits, because I know when daylight hits, everybody's going to want to get out there trying to clear some uh, limbs and trees out of major roadways. I have officers with chainsaws. And yes, there is a lot of debris on the road. Not a lot of standing water that we expected, but but as I heard on your uh, your report here, lots of trees down, lots of palm fronds down. And what's your sense, Chief, of of, of people? Are had, were they evacuated? Are have you been receiving calls of distress? We uh, we had one rescue operation at about four o'clock this morning. A tree fell into a home. Um, my my question would be, why were you at the home? But um, we were able to get in there uh, as soon as we could safely and cut up the tree and, and rescue them. But largely, I think everybody did listen. And, and for those who didn't, uh, it may be a recovery effort this morning, more so. I, one of the things that happens after a storm, as you said, the, the sun comes up and residents want to go out and find out. And sometimes some of the worst injuries and even deaths happen afterwards because people get tangled up in power lines or they think they can do it or they wade through standing water and don't realize what's in there. Uh, what's your message to them? That's exactly true. Everybody wants to go check their home. I want to go check my home. My officers do, but that's not what's important right now. What's important is that we make some safe pathways to those areas. Down power lines, that's going to be a threat. We still have some standing water in low areas. Uh, a lot of cars got stuck last night. We couldn't help them, and so they're still there blocking roadways. Lights are out. I'm, I'm just going to guess. I don't know. I haven't talked to anybody official, but more than probably more than 60% of our city is without electricity right now. So we're going to have people getting up. They're going to be starting generators. They're going to make mistakes with how to do that. And so everybody just needs to be mindful that we're all on the same mission, which is to eventually get back to our home safe and sound. Mm -hmm. All right, Bradenton Police Chief Melanie Bevan. Chief Bevan, thank you so much for being with us on, on a really busy morning. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.